So now we're going to look at last week in the metaverse. And we're going to start off with an article about crypto payments. So let's go ahead and look at crypto payments for MoonPay and NFT Marketplace looks rare as they ink a partnership. Look where users can buy and sell cryptocurrencies through MoonPay, which will allow users to purchase NFTs with a credit card. Web3 payments firm MoonPay is teaming up with the NFT marketplace Looks Rare to allow traders to easily purchase crypto and NFTs on the platform. MoonPay's infrastructure aims to help onboard Looks Rare customers to Web3 and will offer a suite of products to facilitate efficient transactions. Its NFT checkout allows collectors to purchase NFTs with a debit or credit card without first purchasing crypto. It also let MoonPay users purchase Looks, Marketplace's native token. I think this is a very critical first step to, to continued mass adoption, a huge barrier for entry for a lot of people in this space, especially as they go into NFTs, is having to figure out how to onboard to an exchange, how to then purchase Ethereum, Solana, or whatever native token you're going to use, then going to another marketplace like OpenSea to then purchase um, the NFT that they look. It's a lot of steps. It's pretty strenuous. It's just a huge barrier. Everyone knows how to go online, put in a credit card and buy something. Everyone pretty much deals with Amazon. So therefore they know how to do this and make online payments. By eliminating a lot of those barriers to entry, you're now allowing more people to be able to come in and utilize these uh, services and be able to buy NFT. So I think we are continuing to progress towards mass adoption. It's kind of a web 2.5 with having... Uh, two point web two types of infrastructure in place that people can use while still combining all the great things that are in web three. I think 2023 is going to be critical with moving more towards 2.5. I think we still have a lot way to go to really be 3.0. So I think it's for the companies and um, platforms that are are really pushing 2.5. They're going to be set up for the success of the next bull run and, and people really looking to be more immersed in web three. The next story looks at Rihanna and popular Rihanna song offered as NFT with royalty sharing ahead of the Super Bowl. So music producer deputy who helped produce Rihanna's hit single, Better Have My Money, is granting a portion of his streaming royalties to collectors through another art block. Popular song released uh, by Rihanna was offered as an NFT through Web3 Music Startup Another Block on Thursday, allowing holders to receive partial streaming royalties. The new platform works with rights holders, including artists, producers, writers, uh, to divest a percentage of their streaming royalty rights, which are offered fractionalized NFTs. Now, a few things on this. Uh, I think this is awesome. They did this before they knew uh, what the first song was going to be played at the, the Super Bowl. And for all of those who took this bet, uh, which is one of the odd bets that you could take on the Super Bowl, if you bet that this was going to be her opening song. Not only did you make a lot of money, if you had purchased this NFT, now you're making royalties off of that song. So I think this is really cool that more and more um, creatives are finding ways to get involved in Web3 and finding ways that they can participate in the success of the musicians um, and, and bands that they really love. So I thought that was a really cool story. Next, we're going to look at Def Jam. As a uh, sorry about that, uh, Def Jam launched a new virtual band with Solana NFT collection, and it's really cool. Uh, Def Jam uh, Records uh, has a ton of really good hits out there and has a ton of really cool artists, and you're starting to see more and more of the hip hop community embrace. Uh, Web3 and uh, NFTs. I mean, uh, shout out to one of our old artists that was on the show, Spotty Wi-Fi, recently dropped a song that had um, Snoop Dogg in it that was giving him kudos uh, about really putting him on uh, the, the NFT game and um, learning how to get more involved in this space. So because of that, you're going to see more and more of competitors who see Snoop Dogg and who see these other artists who are participating in Web3 and saying, all right, obviously, there's this is the future. This is a path forward. How do we get more involved? And so um, I think this is uh, going to continue to happen. And more people are going and more production studios are going to find a way uh, to get on these different NFT collections. And it's really cool to see this one built on Solana. Uh, don't sleep on Solana. Solana is, I think, going to have a really cool breakout year. Uh, but that's a story for another day. Next, we're going to look at Paris Hilton launching a VR dating experience in the metaverse. 
So Famous New York socialite Paris Hilton um, is trying to create an environment where people can find their true love. Um, Paris Island is a, 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 a metaverse that she's trying to bring alive within the sandbox. The idea essentially is a VR dating experience crossed with a reality dating show. Um, and it's uh, supposed to actually uh, be a, an actual show that's going to be taking place in the sandbox. So it's something that you can both watch and potentially participate in. I think it's something really cool that you're starting to see these cross collaborations um, of these companies and um, how they're also trying to get uh, people to to be alive with them um, in the metaverse for these really cool um, experiences. Um, so excuse me real quick. All right, sorry for that pause. Uh, my computer looks like it is starting to dial me, so I'm going to speed through these final ones. So Major Paris Art Museum to exhibit CryptoPunks, autoglyphs, and NFTs. Um, I think that's... Um, is really cool. Uh, you're, you're starting to see uh, these art places really start to embrace NFTs as future of art and, and have more participation. Uh, I think we're going to continue to see this into the future, especially as a Paris Blockchain Week is coming up. Uh, it makes sense that they're trying to you know, get some of these really cool things in place while all these people are going to be coming and participating. Next, we have uh, LeBron uh, breaking the NBA scoring record and his NFTs are flying off the shelves. He passed. Um, the great um, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar um, as the all-time uh, scoring record. And uh, we think it's really cool um, to see like how far LeBron's come. And he has a lot of different entities that are out there. They're selling like hotcakes. Uh, this isn't going to stop. LeBron's going to continue to make in really, really great money and opportunities. Uh, finally, Reddit has given away over a million Super Bowl NFTs on Polygon. Uh, Reddit recently came out um, on Polygon and they're going to continue to grow and uh, really be really, really um, leaders in the NFT space. Uh, they really know how to connect with their communities and they understand what it means to uh, keep having more of their people um, utilize NFTs as a means for participation and, and growing out. So that is going to wrap us for this week's um, Aftershock. I uh, really hope that you enjoyed all the different articles and information that we shared with you. If you liked what we had to say, um, please leave us some comments uh, over on YouTube if you're watching us there. Um, also, make sure to, um, if you're over on the podcast, uh, share this out. Uh, we're trying to get more uh, uh, podcast listeners, subscribers, everything else. Follow us on all of our social channels. And um, um, we hope you enjoy all the content that we're putting out. Um, otherwise... Uh, we hope that you continue to stay Cryptocurrent. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Cryptocurrent. Cryptocurrent is a cryptocurrency and blockchain education platform that's bridging the gap between the curious newcomers who are just discovering the space and the thought leaders who are shaping its future. All opinions expressed by Richard Carthon, the Cryptocurrent team, and their guests on this show are exclusively their own opinions. This show and any other Cryptocurrent production is exclusively for informational purposes. 